Happy New Year everyone. My name is Christopher Kalawale and I went to have some time off to learn some more programming so I can come back and show you some more skills I learned. Here is today's video. Today we're going to be talking about an app I just made from learning. It's called Flatmate Bell. This line of code you see, the first line of code you see is import web browser. That means it's importing the web browser you want to use for, for the program. As for the, th th I skipped one line of code because there might be an error that shows me that. Watch. S Wait, it still works. Now, from FPDF to import FPDF. When we talk about FPDF, it's me it's a program for PDF files. It's the program is storing PDF files whenever you want to view PDF files. Once I run this program, you will understand that. Now from file stack import client. File stack is something that is used in creating files. Meanwhile, here is the real code from the status level def in its self amount and period this class bill class contains amount and period like how many days there you know, do you want to stay in the house with your partner and at the amount is how many would you pay now now the class of flatmate is here it contains name and days in house like i explained before days in house and payment yes like i discussed the name is the name of the per person that you want to stay in the house with. Now, the days in house. It explains how many days you want to stay in the house. Now, in the payment of the house is here. Self, bill, and flat means too. Now, wait equals to self, the days in house. And self, the days in house plus flat means too dot days in house to pay equals to bill dot amount plus weight now return to pay now what this to pay means is that bill dot amount like I, I explained here bill dot amount times weight is times weight of how many days you want to stay in the house plus the days that you and your partner will stay in the house so that's how it is now time for some real action guys hope you are hope you are seeing it too pdf report self and file name you see, you see it here yes i know the file name is for the name you want to give to the file and it will give you the results in the pdf file once you run run it now the generate now the generate program this contains your flatmate 1 flatmate 2 and bill Flatmate one pay equals to string round flatmate one dot pays bill and flatmate two and two. This means that the you should round it off in string, and the no, the number that the flatmate one pays divided by two. We'll see when we run. Flatmate two is also the same thing as flatmate one. So f PDF is also used here. P FPDF orientation P, unit PT, and format A4. This is add page. You see the add page there. This explains the how, how the paper should look like once you run it. Now, PDF.image. As you can see here, I picked an image called house.jpg. You can use any kind of JPG file you want, but it's most concern house you can even use a png file any file you want but let it be a concern in a house okay guys now pdf.set font oh i love this one the set font is used in creating the font of the file you want to do so i chose times new roman size 24 and the style should be in b system like i did here the pdf.cell will give me the 
width, which is 0, and height equals to 80. And the task text will show me border equals to 0, and a line equals to C, and line equals to 1. Before I go further in explaining, all these remaining line of code you see here are for are for the text you write there like time it's new roman you see here these are all the text that are contained in a table plus this one will be in its table and it's also going to be in a file guys now pdf.sent font is the same thing except the text this time is period and the width there is 100 and the height is 40 and the border is also zero if you notice you see see the border the border is also meaning for the table because if you see it when we run it, it's going to be in its tabular form. And you are going to be surprised when you see it. So, pdf.sent font equals to times new roman and size equals to 12. pdf.cell width equals to 100 and height equals to 40. And text equals to flat mate one dot name and border equals to zero. So, in this line of code, you can see here. This contains 100 in width and height in 40. Width in 150 and width in four, height in 40. So this cell you see here, this contains all the information of flatmate 1. If they want to stay in the room, they need to know the name and how much they'll pay. So they, we all put it in one line. So same thing for the second one, 100 in width width 115 width then both heights are 40 then you see the name then you see the pay then the same thing code for here i don't need to talk about that one so well browser.open equals self the file name so this web browser.open means it will open the file the name of that file you want to create so file sharer hmm. you want to remember this one now the file sharer path equals to API key. You can generate it according to what it gives you in the website. If you haven't heard of filestack.com yet, please search it. If you don't know about it yet, self.filepath equals to file path and self.api key equals to API key. Let me exp explain that one very well. That means the file you need the file path and the API key to the File or else your program won't work at all when I run it and I'll show you a few tests after I show you all the program you need to know so def chef and self client client equals client self dot API key new file link client dot upload file path equals to f f string here the build period dot PDF here Return new file link dot URL. This will create the file the file name itself. So the amount here you see is float. Input equals to hey user. Enter the bill amount. This will show you tell you to input any any number, but it must be in float. Just to be safe. So the period of the house. What's the bill period? E.g. December twenty twenty. But if you enter anything they don't ask you, boom, it's going to give you a straight error, if you notice. Name 1. Input, what's your name? Now, this is where the program runs from. Name 1 equals to input, what's your name? Days in house 1. A integer. Input. How many days did name 1 stay in the house during the build period? Now, lucky... I don't have to explain name 2 because name 2 is also the same thing as this. Now, what's name that piece of program is saying that that what's the name of the first flatmate? Then the second piece of code that contains there is how many did that same person stay in that house? That's if you enter name 1, you might be able to get that name 1 and you enter the build period and you just enter it. Then to complete that code, you have to put in name 2, then on to the way to the bill, then bill amount and period, according to the class we just created earlier. 
C. C why classes are so important because they help you encode a lot. Encode. Now, flatmate one equals to flatmate. Name one days in house one. Oh, and let me explain this one to you. This is for the flatmate. The name and the days in house. You to enter in that piece of code. Then the next thing you know is it will calculate everything that you have done according to this fact a class here yeah just gotta watch once we run it and we're going to explain a few tests flatmate dot one flatmate one dot name is so it pays this the bill and flatmate two meanwhile the same thing happens for this flatmate two dot name pays flatmate two dot pays bill uh, flatmate one that's how it works now it's time for the final part of the code pdf report equals to pdf report file name equals to f the bill dot period dot pdf pdf report dot generate flatmate one flatmate two the bill now the pdf report simply explains the name of the file dot pdf so okay now i remember yes yes i wanted to tell you this one the bill period is according to the month and the year you paid that particular bill now pdf dot report dot generate flatmate one flatmate two the bill yes that's how it will generate your your code file sharer is according to the class file sharer here because if you don't add this class you are definitely your code will definitely fail so after i finish explaining we'll do a few series of tests that make it an error then after that we'll do the final one which will get it right then i'll sh explain to you how we got our code file sharer file path equals to pdf report the file name this is explains how the file name is so let's run a few tests my fellow students what if we remove this what i'm but if you run it, sorry guys, let me try that again. Yes. See now you get you see what happens thinking and look at how it is. Unfortunately it's not gonna give you what you want, but this is what you get. But this is just a copy of what you see. So let's just move back where it was. Now number one point this piece of code you might not be able to get the project correctly so let's just delete this one and try that one again but this time we'll do it right so according to that i almost forgot something next time in my videos and i come to this thing for videos i'll always not forget to do this because this design the text helps you to helps you to create it's a design for it what you see in the code and what you do so the description of the app is <coughs> an app that gets us input of the amount of a bill for a particular period and the days that each of the flatmates stayed in the house for that period and returns how much the flatmate had to pay it also generates a PDF report stating the names of the flatmates, the period, and how much of how much each of them had to pay. So here are the objects that we listed earlier: bill, amount, period, flatmate, name, <coughs> days in the house, pays bill, 
PDF reports, file name, FATMATE1, FATMATE2, and BELL, like we explained. Now let's run the code and you see the big picture. But before that, let me show you what the picture I chose. Isn't this lovely? Now time to run it and how to post in the PDF. Hey user, enter the bill amount. Let me say 120. Then enter the bill period. I'll say January January 2023. Now what's your name? Hmm, imagine if you put your another name instead of yours, like Bill. How many days did Bill stay? Hmm. I can say it would stay for 22 days. <coughs> Meanwhile, I what if we stay in with another gender? Yes. So imagine her name is Florence. So uh, let me say 18. So look at how it puts it. Wow! Look at it, folks. Look at the result again. Look at the result. The house is put in this side because I just created the file. Then the flatmate bill title is there. <coughs> it's a check. Now the period, January 2023. Now the bill 66.0 is according to how they calculated it. According to, I put it is according to how I put it, but I put this equalities so that it can add up to 40 so it can divide itself by 3. You know how they should works. So, after you created your flatmate bill, you close it and it will give you this. I give you this strange website. Wondering where you do it to. I don't know, let's just see. Two, one. Let me load it again. Wow, it is telling me to download my own document I just made. Work. Wait, hold on. Let me see how it is in a website form. Good, isn't it? Now, let me close everything that I did and let me conclude on this video before I leave. Ah, thanks for watching my video and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel for more and we'll see you next time. Thank you.